President Trump announced U.N. Ambassador Nikki Haley's resignation on October 9th. She will leave the cabinet by the end of 2018. Trump praised her performance as U.N. Ambassador. Nikki Haley, Ambassador to the United Nations, has been very special to me. She's done an incredible job. She's a fantastic person. Haley was the first woman and first minority chosen for the Trump administration. The problem for our party is that our approach often appears cold and unwelcoming to minorities. That's shameful. She came to the position from her role as Republican governor of South Carolina with little foreign policy experience. During her tenure at the UN, Haley pushed through three sets of sanctions against North Korea and persuaded China and Russia to agree to abide by them. But this is a time of fresh eyes, um, new strength, new vision, and a great day at the US-UN. She became known for being a hawk on Iran and a strong advocate of Israel. Haley was a fierce advocate of Trump administration policies, but also appeared to be at odds with the administration a number of times. In their October 9th meeting, Trump mentioned that Haley began considering her resignation about six months ago. That's right around the time the two clashed over Russia sanctions. So you will see that Russian uh, sanctions will be coming down. Uh, Secretary Mnuchin will be announcing those on Monday if he hasn't already. Haley's announcement apparently jumped the gun on Trump's decision, creating tension. Trump and Haley's history goes back to the 2016 presidential election. During anxious times, it can be tempting to follow the siren call of the angriest voices. We must resist that temptation. I think we're seeing it across the country, but yes, Mr. Trump has definitely contributed to what I think is just irresponsible talk. Well, I won't pretend to have always been President-elect's biggest cheerleader. <laughs> I did vote for him. And I was absolutely thrilled to see him win. During the South Carolina primary in February 2016, Haley described Trump as everything a governor doesn't want in a president, which prompted Trump to attack her on Twitter. Haley took a more diplomatic approach with her response. Haley's ability to be both outspoken and eloquent on contentious issues has fueled speculation she will run for president in 2020, which she denies. And I will say this um, for all of you that are going to ask about 2020. No, I'm not running for 2020. I can promise you what I'll be doing is campaigning for this one. It is not immediately clear who Haley's replacement will be. Yeah, I want to thank you for a great job. Thank you, Nikki. Thank you, thank you very much, everybody. Thanks.